Okay, who's up? You're okay. first today. Okay. Good. What you saw of the team today and being a last preparation game before them? Uh, the last preseason game is always hard because guys are really excited for uh, Champions League and, and Lyon. Um, we've had a really good preseason. A lot of guys have really made progress. Uh, it's been a different challenge in preseason because we've not had so many guys here at different times. So today I saw some good things that were exciting and I saw some things that were a little bit careless. But when I look at the preseason as a whole, I think a lot of good work has uh, taken place and everybody now can be focused to be ready for uh, Tuesday. Are you confident in that preseason, the end of the preseason, like you said, you, you didn't have everybody and then you'll have to face a competition? Yeah, we have to be confident. You know, we have to be confident. They're a good team. Um, we know the first leg is always a big challenge. Um, but, you know, as guys have returned, uh, the feeling of the group, the work that's been done other years, uh, the confidence that, that guys have from, uh, uh, from previous seasons, all those things start to come back into play with everybody being around. So, yeah, that part's really good. Bob, how hard is it to prepare for intense games like the ones that you guys are going to play in Leon, uh, especially here in preseason when the, the, the opponent is also in preseason? Uh, yeah, it's, from the beginning, we knew the challenges of preseason. Uh, we needed to get the most out of every day with the, the mix of players that were there, and that included academy players. Today, obviously, it's a pretty, pretty great thing to see Christian Torres get a goal the end of the preseason. Uh, it's been at times trialless. Uh, and then the core group that's been here since day one that worked really hard and their mentality is good. And, uh, and then now you see guys that uh, were playing in important games and under 23 qualifying who are now back. So we've got to put all that together in a short time and um, prepare ourselves for Leo. What did you see from Janela and Sapointe specifically making their day their preseason debuts for you on the field? Yeah, both are guys that are going to be good players for us. Uh, we need more time to, to to work with them, to help them understand certain things. Uh, you know, the starting points of those two are actually quite different. Uh, Pancho is a re Pancho is a player whose uh, way of receiving balls and making passes. Um, the right pass at the right time. We saw a few really good ones in the first half. Uh, we need to build on that and help uh, some of his now defensive footwork and reactions. Um, uh, Sifu is, uh, in terms of his reactions and his uh, presence on the field, it's a strong presence. It's been that way with every team he's played on. Uh, and now uh, he's been out from the Charlie Horse, so just sharpening up touches and getting him a little bit more in sync with our midfield plays, but looking forward to working with both. And the back line saw, uh, three members of the back line saw the entire match, and then Cheeky was in for the vast majority, mm -hmm. uh, in pre obviously in preparation for Leon. What did you see from the back line in terms of their communication and execution? Uh, I think overall we've done a good job. I think today we had some careless moments where we lost balls and uh, we weren't as organized because of the ball that we lost. And so that, that was a, a part of what led to their goal in a couple of other moments. But uh, the work in preseason for all those guys has been good. Uh, we have flexibility with, with how we use guys. Uh, so I think we, we feel we've laid uh, a good foundation for the rest of the season with the work that's been done in preseason focus of this team since the beginning was also bringing young players now like you said they've had that international experience with their national teams and U23 level and killing attention on themselves how does that help for the team also you know they're young but they're getting experience people are looking at them and praising kind of like what they did uh I I was really proud to watch all those guys play for their under 23 teams in the qualifying I think all of them had important roles. All of them showed that the football that has gotten better and better here uh, was on display. Uh, and then when they come back, and you can tell how excited they are to get back into everything here, it shows that 
the environment and the culture is something that everybody uh, loves being part of. Bob uh, Walker has gone, moved on to Nashville. Can you talk a little bit about you know, what missing him means for this team and then whether or not there, you see something happening in terms of personnel-wise bringing in someone new or looking at what we have now? Yeah, to answer the, the last part of the question first, um, I feel good about the guys that we have, and we're always looking to find ways to improve. So that part has never changed. Um, Walker uh, is a fantastic guy. And for two years, he was a real presence uh, in our team and in our club. Um, carries himself the right way, uh, smart, proud, a guy that on the field is a competitor and a winner. Uh, and so the work that we did together is something that we all enjoyed and appreciated. And uh, as I mentioned the other day, the, the club continues to set the bar higher. And, and so at times you consider different uh, opportunities. We will be a club moving forward that continues to sell. We've said that from the start. So whether you, in this case, sell inside the league, or whether at some points, uh, which will come, that there will be players that will be sold because other clubs have seen them and now uh, it's an opportunity for guys to move on to different leagues. So that's part of our culture. And, uh, and we under, we, I think everybody understands that, but uh, to a man, everybody, has incredible respect for Walker, and you know it's a it's a tough business. But what, what you always hope, and it's not a hundred percent, but what you always hope is that when you have had a chance anywhere along the line to work with guys, that the experiences together uh, last, and that you know no matter what happens in the game, uh, that you still can always reflect on. Uh, the work and, and the good times and yeah some of the moments that didn't quite happen and uh, we've you know I think we've been like that from day one that we wanted guys to know that listen we appreciate what you've put into it and I mean today is a day where uh, Laurent's on the opposing side and you know you see the way Laurent is with every guy on our team and with uh, Scotty and Miguel and assistant coaches and you know with me and so look that that is something that we we believe in so um, we we now know that Walker is going to go to Nashville and be an important part of everything there. But the two years here were, were awesome. Do you see yeah. this as an opportunity for other players and younger players to kind of uh, step into more of a leadership role with Walker? Then? Sure. Look, leadership. Uh, you're challenging guys every day to understand how. Leadership is not like just because you're a captain or just because you're the coach. Leadership is by being part of something and being engaged and being encouraged and being challenged in all these different ways. And, and so we're constantly looking for guys to, uh, to understand that and to carry themselves the right way and to have a good way with their teammates and to come in to our club every day with a, you know, with a real love of... of training and a love of their teammates and a love of what's going on so yeah we're, we're we're constantly seeing if we can get more and more guys to uh, understand what that's all about three games three goals for brian rodriguez uh, obviously a very solid preseason can you just talk about the differences in his game that you've seen from the beginning of uh, this from the beginning of this year's training camp to the end of the season in terms of the success yeah i think he's catching on to the details on, on how we want him to play uh, when you, he and Cheeky arrive in the middle of the season, it's not easy. Um, Brian is talented, but now uh, finding moments where instead of always going full speed, he slows down, uh, seeing the right moments to, to, to slip passes and get the, the weight of the pass, and not just fire, fire a bullet at the next guy that, that uh, can't be handled. Uh, it's patience with some of his movements so many things um, and then his his reactions and his defensive work he's he's done a much better job of being part of helping us press and and win the ball back uh, I think that's something that has really really improved since last year. Uh, the goal by Christian Torres mm -hmm. can you really can you talk about the work 
that both he and all the academy players have put in and how that kind of culminated to that moment here for LAFC? Sure, the, these young guys come in and then they get pushed every day. And um, I, I think all of them have uh, uh, been, they, they arrived excited. Uh, they, they understood now little things that they needed to improve upon. They picked up ideas that we think are important. Uh, you know, they all had some moments where when the level got higher and higher that they kind of hit the wall a little bit. But, but for all of them, uh, seeing them in first team training and seeing them grow has been uh, important for everyone in the club. And we, we also agree that Christian's goal today was sort of a goal for all of the work that's going on in the club and for all the work that goes on in the academy. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.